Ladies and gentlemen, Andrew Tate has been charged with rape and human trafficking. Prosecutors in Romania have filed formal charges against the controversial influencer Andrew Tate, his brother Tristan, and two Romanian associates. The charges okay. include rape, human trafficking, and forming an organized crime group, as well as illegally accessing a computer system and violence against one of the alleged victims. Uh, we're also getting some information from the organized crime unit about the assets that have been seized, properties, cars, luxury watches, but also more than 300 million US dollars in cryptocurrency. And we're told that there's... Whoa, they are actually bossed up that's crazy 300 million dollars is a lot of cookies man and we're told that there's a there are separate charges that are still under investigation that may be the subject of a separate indictment in the future and they include money laundering influencing statements and trafficking of minors and Wait, trafficking of minors that's not true dicot did an investigation he's only worth 10 million total oh according to dicot they seized assets including over 21 bitcoin which is 508 dollars as of june 20th so that's not true some auto translate software including google translate erroneously suggested a much larger amount of bitcoin worth 384 million had been seized due to an error interpreting the original romanian oh my god he was a fucking broke boy too dude i oh, I, I believe the term is a brokey a fucking brokey oh shit you're drinking that government water andrew you're not fucking drinking sparkling water you're drinking government water his house is only worth 600k in romania all his cars are rented and he only has 300k in crypto i'm tweeting about this i'm sorry what, what, what about the bugatti i was fucking right i told you motherfuckers that like Half the dudes whose streams he was going on have more money than he does. It was all a fucking flex, dude. More like broke G. Fucking broke G. Oh, oh, that's fucking fire, dude. I'm sorry. This is like the, the justice being served part is great, but it's like doubly great when you fucking see this kind of situation unfold. And all of these dumb motherfuckers who love him, dude, all of these dumb asses who love him, have been fucking absolutely duped. Wait, where does it say his cars were rental? They own the cars, that's what makes up most of the 10 mil. Wait, what do you, so his total net worth is like around 10 mil. You know he has a shit ton of money, just not on the books though. You know, it famously, when a incredibly fucking comprehensive investigation is conducted, they have a really hard time finding all of your assets. Like these guys weren't exactly a fucking brilliant operation. If anything, Part of the reason why they are in such uh, trouble at the moment is precisely because they were not running a brilliant operation. They were very stupid. They very openly talked about doing lover boy method sex trafficking. They very openly talked about the abuse that they put women through. They very openly talked about tax evasion and how to control and manipulate women. You can say you're coping all you want, but turns out, turns out, you know who the real top G is? People like myself, people like XQC. Turns out his entire net worth is around 10 million. That's what it turns out. He says it right here. I was like, you just get beyond that point with money. So there's kind of like this middle ground when you're broke, you own nothing. And then you start doing well and you own a bunch of stuff. And then you get to the top and you're just trying to get rid of it all. And don't want to own anything anymore. Well, Eman said when we interviewed him, he said he didn't want to be a billionaire. He said as soon as you get to that sort of e level, they'll start controlling you and manipulating you. So do you have a similar thought pattern on that? It's very hard to not become a billionaire in the world today, I think, if you're truly influential. I'm already a billionaire if I had to have my net worth measured. Oh, oh that would have been one of my questions. You can ask me. No, I'm a billionaire. Yeah, so, uh, so and net worth. Yeah, net worth. What are you bringing into that? Are you bringing in your whole... Yeah, totally. 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 Dude, it's great. He was just... He's been a con man since day one. And I love con men. And uh, makes sense. Yeah, 10 million is definitely well off, especially if investing in the stock market for the middle class. You're right. Retiring in America is getting impossible. Homies, $10 million is an unimaginable amount of money. However, $10 million is not the way Andrew Tate fucking presents himself okay he kept saying he's a billionaire dude he kept saying he had hundreds of millions of dollars okay understand that we're not comparing andrew tate to like a stevedore we're not comparing andrew tate to a let's say teacher in oklahoma we're comparing andrew tate to aiden ross we're comparing andrew tate to xqc okay so when you compare andrew tate to xqc and you find out that his entire net worth is basically one tenth of the contract that XQC is getting from Kit, that's when you come to the realization that the top G is not on top. He's lying about being on top. Was the one Bugatti came in, guys? For people who are asking, like, 
listen to me, okay? I don't know how much a Bugatti is called. What is it, 1.9 million? Okay, the most expensive Bugatti is like 5.4, a Devo, right? Bugatti Devo is 5.4 million. I don't know which Bugatti he has, and I don't know how much it costs. But at the end of the day, it's like, Let's say it's 2.9 million. Is it, okay, it's the same price as my fucking house. Do you understand? You can be a relatively wealthy person while you are operating well beyond your fucking means. You know what I mean? So what he probably did is he probably had like that much money and then he went and he fucking bought it. He bought the Bugatti to present himself as an incredibly wealthy person. When you buy a $3 million car, People look at you and go, oh, you must have a hundred million dollars. And that's the entire point of being a con man. People do this all the time. That's why a lot of people will go and rent cars like that to present themselves as much wealthier than they actually are. Because you would never expect a motherfucker who only has like four million, five million dollars to go and buy a Bugatti. Because that would be fucking idiotic. That'd be insane. I think it's funny when you actually consider Aiden Ross probably has more money than him. Yes, exactly. Over 5 million in cars and 7 million house. No, his house is not worth 7 million. Bro, you think Andrew Tate's house in Romania is worth 7 million? Dog, you can buy a chateau in fucking France, not Romania, for like 2 million, okay? You can buy... <laughs> He can buy a chateau in California for seven million. Yes, dude. He motherfucker said seven million in Romania. Yeah, Tate's complex was valued at six hundred thousand dollars. So Forbes are asking for financial details to add me to the billionaires list. I'm the most viewed man on the planet, the most respected masculine role model alive. I own the entire idea of masculinity. Of course, I'm worth a measly B. You do not need paperwork, Feds. The truth about Andrew Tate: his home is less. Uh, Hollywood hideaway, more rundown meat factory. <laughs> what is the, the truth about Andrew Tate's car collection? Tate's brother's expensive car collection is that when they first showed up and couldn't get the story sheet about what their first car, what their first supercar was, either Aston Martin or a Lambo Huracan, is because they were renting them on the Cannon Run. It's an event where people pay 5K to ride through Europe in a supercar. That's the first Tate owns a supercar shot comes from. Recently, Tate bought into his friend's Cannon Run company. That coincides, I'm surely, with this. It was simply Tate once again cozied up to someone with a legit business, pass it off that he's a genius multimillionaire and will know doubt ruin another company don't take my word for it though here's the proof direct from the uk company registration data successful business with supercars goes dormant take takes over takes credit it collapses while you're on the site check out the history of emory and tristan and all the other companies that have completely failed no doubt I'll get told I'm obsessed with Tate, but this took five minutes and I'm really surprised that none of the other influencers that have had Tate on their podcast ever get bothered to do any due diligence on every kid without a dad's favorite sex traffickers. This is the most, re okay, this is what Reddit is for. This is the most Reddit thing on the fucking planet to get this obsessed over an incredibly niche thing, go to this level of investigation and basically unwind this, uh-oh, Hassan. I'm in there too. Tay Emery, Tay Andrew, correspondence's address. Appointed on 24th of March, 2022. Resigned on 19th of December, 2022. It's so funny that this guy literally fucking, this guy did this, like, it, it, and, and was very frustrated that, like, he wants, like, clicks to to ask andrew tate why he was lying about his bugatti so that's what we got andrew tate we knew he lied all the time it does feel good when you see like all the things that you speculated and all the things that you were stating come to fruition all the things you suspected actually turned into uh the truth i should also mention that his team have responded to the indictment here this morning with a statement saying that the brothers embrace the opportunity to demonstrate their innocence and she said our primary focus will be to establish the truth. This is a this is a funny take from a, a friend. I hate Andrew Tate as much as anyone, but the way the Romanian authorities are going after him is a very concerning attack on freedom and will have a chilling effect on anyone trying to set up a sex trafficking ring in Romania. I agree. I don't get why it takes so long to charge anyone. I would have agreed with this, by the way, as well. I did agree with this until today. Finally, this motherfucker got charged. Oh my God. Andrew Tate said he moved to Romania because he thought it was lawless. His Romanian lawyer said that he's changed his mind on that claim. This photo, this fucking photo. My face when I realized Romania not as lawless. I've made a huge mistake. So he's just pissed it's not as corrupt as he thought. Guys, Andrew Tate from the jump said that he wanted to be a low level flexor. Like he went to Romania because he couldn't, he couldn't cut in the big leagues, okay? That's why he went to motherfucking Romania. He couldn't be corrupt in America 
or in the Western world. So he went to Romania so he could ball on a fucking budget. And he openly said it. Like, he literally said, rich people control the world. But if you're not rich, you can control and be corrupt in a place like Romania. He's literally made more money off Hustler University itself than the amount you've made in your whole life, Lamal. Talk G defenders. Talk G dick riders. They're in here. Let's fucking go. Are these guys serious? Now, none of this actually matters because he's a piece of shit even if he is. But the thing that I got to my attention is, let's just say this is a factual statement, right? It's not, but let's assume that it is. Yeah. It still misses the point. I'm not defending Andrew Tate. I just don't know how you could be talking about someone else's money. Motherfucker, do you know it, it, what it, the most famous criticism against me is? Do you understand? Do you do you know anything? Only 967 left. 1,000? He can't. You telling me he can't even sell 1,000 t-shirts for $99? It was, that is an excess. You're trying to tell me that this motherfucker went and got a t-shirt made in fucking China or Vietnam for like a dollar and he's upmarking it by $99 and he can't sell it to a thousand people? I guess the reason why he can't do it is because all of his fucking fanboys are too busy, too busy trying to make ends meet because they lost all their fucking mommy's credit card money on whatever crypto pump and dump scheme that Andrew Tate was selling them inside of the Hustlers University. Inside Andrew Tate's real empire with 10 million pounds fortune and 440k in crypto after boasting he's a trillionaire. By the way, the irony is, remember that fucking thing that people misquote about me all the time? When I when I said like, like I don't have an interest in like living beyond my means. Everything I buy is usually shit that I use on a daily basis, like a house or a fucking car. And I'll buy a fancy version of it, but even then it's like well within my means. Andrew Tate does the exact opposite of that. He is purchasing shit or making it seem like he purchases shit that is way outside of his means. That's the difference. When he should have at least put some of those funds into getting a fucking hair transplant. Bro, Romania is so close to Turkey too. I know, it just like doesn't make no sense to me, dog. Just get a fucking hair transplant. I think one of the reasons he hates you so much is because he knows you're richer than him. <laughs> yeah, probably. His bootlicker in chief Aiden has more money than him and he had him sniffing his farts, man. Yeah, that's actually really important. I need you to understand something. He was so captivating to people that like he was able to dupe someone who was young, but like a lot more successful than him into believing that he had more money than Aiden did. Aiden fucking licked this man's taint, bro. And it turns out he had more money in his fucking bank account then, then this guy did. No 2.5 million donation to feed the children? I, I don't know. He said he- Frank, he might be a millionaire at the Turkish Lira. <laughs> yeah. He said, he said he was donating 25 million a year. He don't even have 25 million total. He doesn't have 25 million liquid. He doesn't even have 25 million net worth total. By the way, I said this back when me and Aiden were, uh, back before Aiden fucking lost his mind. I said this both to him and in public, where I was like, Aiden, you are more successful than Andrew Tate. He needs you more than you need him. Why can't you fucking see this? I literally told him this. And everyone fucking yelled at me. They were like, do you guys remember? When people were like debating me, they're like, no. Uh, actually, Andrew Tate has 150,000 uh, fucking paying members in his Discord for Hustlers University. You dumb motherfuckers. I told you it was botted out the fucking gills, okay? I told you that this uh, the Hustlers University Discord fraud was like maximum a couple thousand fucking uh, paying active subscribers. No fucking shot, dude. I smelled that shit from a goddamn mile away. Whoo! I can't tell if you're getting pissed off or not. Like, oh, I'm so fu- No, I'm not pissed off. This is fucking great, dude. I'm, I'm just- I'm confused. I'm having a great time with this. So many motherfuckers came in here to be like, dude, you're so wrong. You're so fucking wrong. You're so fucking wrong. Ultimately, he's not a billionaire and he's not a hundred millionaire, okay? It's bullshit. He might have more than 10 million. He might have 20 million. He might have 30 million. It's a lot of fucking money. Yeah, back to my original point with the comment. What? Let's say- you know, even if you assume he's right with what he said in that comment, he's still not a billionaire. Yeah. No, it's a fucking lie. You belong in the haters university, free taint. <laughs> One other thing I want to mention here, okay? Uh, for the broke boys out there. For the fucking brokeys out there. There's a bottom of the hour. No. Um... Oh fuck, there is one actually in the middle of the- you're right. Holy fuck, I forgot about that. Got him! 